Love and about all hair grease, y'all. Shadi Jumina returning once again. And I've been trying to do videos for the past few days, but some discrepancies and some inconveniences have been in my way. So today I had to force myself to actually make a video for y'all because I don't really want to be inconsistent. I don't like being inconsistent, especially if this is something I like to do. So today we're going to talk about. Uh, some astrology today so as you know it is may it is my birthday month my birthday is, is on the 24th um and currently uh the sun is in taurus okay in topical astrology okay um the sun is in taurus right now so i just want to talk about um uh, the significance of taurus um really the focuses um that you should be taking when it's taurus season and just to get a description on the second house in your birth chart which is ruled by Taurus okay so what do we know about Taurus okay Taurus is known as the bull okay Taurus season starts I believe April 20th to like May 20th May 21st something like that um Taurus is ruled by Venus um so naturally Taurus likes nice things okay Taurus likes luxury Taurus likes good food Taurus likes good wine um Taurus really like it's an earth sign as well, so it deals with the material world, practicality, okay? So, Taurus also deals with um, finances, financial gain, okay? One thing, if you know about Taurus, Taurus, Taurus also loves money, okay? And the second house in your birth chart also deals with how you accumulate money and how you draw money to you. Um, not necessarily in regards to career, but, you know, just how you obtain making um, your income. Okay, that's what the second house is. So, like I said, Taurus is ruled by Venus. Um, Venus is the planet of love. Venus is the planet of uh, aesthetics, the things that we like to do. Um, the thing is, is pretty self-explanatory. Ven uh, Venus is a feminine planet. So, Taurus is also a feminine uh, sign. It's a feminine earth sign, okay? So, Taurus... Usually, sometimes, depending on the person in the chart, likes to stay at home, okay? Taurus likes comfortability. Taurus really don't like when shit, you know, kind of shakes up too much because it makes them a little uncomfortable. Taurus is also a fixed sign. And you know, if you know anything about um, modalities and astrology, um, fixed signs um, tend to be um, just really rooted, you know, in the things that they do and in their ideals. So in this case, um, with Taurus... Um, Taurus is really fixed on, uh, you know, just their materialism and their partners and just things that they like to do. This is why sometimes a stereotype for Taurus is being um, stubborn. So typically, you know, just Taurus really don't like risk or changes. But however, like I said, it depends on the individual and the birth chart, what planets they have in their birth chart. Um, they might have Gemini in their birth chart, so they might be adapt to change compared to um, the average Taurus, okay? So um, like I said, Taurus, Taurus really likes comfortability. Uh, Taurus also rules the physical body. So Taurus are very sensual. They like things they, that pleases all of their five senses, okay? So whether it's nice soft fabric, fabrics like silk that feel good, they like things that smell good, um, they like to look good. They like to be in the best clothes. They like the best food, the nicest restaurants, um, just things like that of that nature. Um, Taurus also, uh, I call Taurus women um, earth goddesses because, um, and Taurus energy actually reminds me of Oshun, which is the Yoruba goddess of uh, love, fertility, uh, you know, just a, a good time. Like, just think of uh, the goddess of love and just don't, just apply those attributes um, to Taurus. Um, Taurus also likes stability in everything that they do. So whether it's stability in their finances, stability in their job, stability in their relationships. Um, but Taurus also has to work on or kind of not be possessive over their partners. Because like I said, the second house is also ruled by Taurus, which deals with possessions. Okay, so Taurus may see their partners or their lovers or their loved ones as their possessions. And they may be a little possessive in love. You know what I'm saying? Which is... Good to some extent, but being overly possessive, you know, can cause some whiff breath and it's not really, you know, that good. Um, in regards to relationships, um, Taurus also likes predictability. Um, they really don't like things in their relationship to change. 
too much, you know, change kind of, you know, scare them a little bit. Change kind of makes them a little uncomfortable. Um, towards, especially towards women, um, they like um, men who are financially stable, who have some type of money, who can provide, who can support their lifestyle. So support their lifestyle of luxury, of glamour, of comfortability, of sensual, nice things, okay? Also, another thing about tourists, okay? If you're not buying them nothing or providing them with any type of financial stability, similar to Capricorn, or you're not taking them out whining and dining, Taurus, don't expect to go no further. If you, you know, conversation is nice with Taurus, but Taurus likes to be wine and dine. So if you're not spending no type of money on Taurus, don't waste your time, honey. Save yourself. You got to come with that. Come with that bread. Okay? Just a little food for thought. Um, but, Taurus... I have Venus in Taurus, so a lot of these things I can relate to as well because I I like, you know, I, I just like I just like a good time. I like to, you know, go out by myself. I like to go to restaurants. I love wine. Um, I just like to feel I like to feel good. You know what I'm saying? I just like earthly things. I like nice shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the store bought any I like quality over quantity, okay? You it's like I rather have the uh the bounty paper towel rather than the great value the knockoff paper towel, okay? Taurus also likes quality, okay? Cheap shit is not going to work with Taurus. The low budget shit, it's not really going to work with Taurus, okay? Taurus likes the nice quality shit and they also probably like to spend uh money on that quality too no matter how much it costs but in regards to money sometimes tourists can uh get themselves into debt because they can be overspenders and not really um and just really overspending luxuries like spending too much money on food spending too much money on vacations spending too much money on clothes spending too much money on accessories and just nice things in general so uh tourists has to really watch out for that but um, overall, Taurus is, um, I love Taurus, honestly. Taurus is just such a, a nice energy. It just makes me just feel so good. But, yeah, so if you want a Taurus, um, make sure that you got some type of money, you know what I'm saying, behind you, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, that broke life don't really work for Taurus, you know, they got to get it how they get it. You know? Most of the time, Tauruses are very uh, resourceful, so they can really make a dollar, out of 15 cents out of nowhere okay so even if they have like thirty dollars they're going to make that thirty dollar stretch for the week or for the week and a half or whatever the time being because i noticed that a lot about a lot of earth signs the earth signs are taurus virgo and capricorn they're very resourceful so wherever they have at the time they make the most of what little they may have or what large they may have they um, are very resourceful with material things you know what i'm saying they can really make the smallest thing stretch or they can make a way in regards to materialism they can make a way out of no way okay um that's one thing i really do like about taurus um taurus also has to uh watch out for the tendency to over identify with their possessions okay so having uh, own so especially sons and tours and i also have my son in the second house too so i'm kind of guilty of this as well so tours has to really be careful of not really association associating their identity with what they have with their possessions okay meaning um not overly associating your identity with money or the kind of car that you drive, like the bins that you have or the house that you have. Tourists has to really watch out for not making their material life their identity, okay? This is where um, I'm going to go ahead and make this transition um, where your second house comes in, okay? So uh, I have a chart right here. This is actually um, a chart I did on a client, but... I'm going to keep it semi, you know, confidential because I don't want her business out like that. But, uh, so, if you see right here, this is her ascendant sign, okay? This is the first house. And the second house is located right here, okay? So, everybody has a second house, obviously. 
in their birth chart, okay? So, your second house, okay, as I stated earlier, determines how you gain materialism. How does wealth come to you? How do you gain your income, okay? It also rules your values. How do you value yourself? Uh, that's one, another thing about Taurus. Taurus also uh, are really fixed in the things that they value. Taurus all, also... Um, also uh has really great values behind what they do so this can kind of go into the stereotype of towards being stubborn it's because you know their values and what they value they kind of don't want to go against the grain of you know the shit that they value i mean i don't blame them i mean shit if I, you know but anyway like i said your second house um also rules um your early childhood okay but in regards to how you how financially how your childhood was okay so looking at your second house um you can determine uh what kind of financial lifestyle that you had okay were you well off were you wealthy or were you you know kind of struggling early in life in regards to your lifestyle okay um your second house and your birth chart also uh tells you how you gain and how you lose money Okay, so like, for example, if you have Aries in the second house, okay, Aries is known as being a little impulsive, a little um, doing in first and then thinking later. Okay, Aries is really notorious about that. So if you have um, Aries in the second house, you can be an impulsive spender. You probably, you know, get money fast, but just as fast as you get it, you lose it because Aries is very... Uh, not really a very uh practical sign Aries is very action oriented sign like i said before they act first and then they think later your second house also determines what brings you physical security okay um what uh physical things bring you inner security okay second house also deals with your self-esteem how do you feel about yourself what kind of values that you have um also a rules um your materially what do you desire okay so for example i have uh i have a natural chart okay so taurus is located because i'm an aries ascendant um uh, taurus is naturally located in uh is the ruler of my second house so the things that i value i value uh financial stability i value financial security um i value you know nice things i value luxury i value wealth um those are the things that I value, okay? But um, somebody who had uh, maybe a Scorpio in the second house, okay? Um, they may value sex. They may value uh, deep transformation. Um, if you have Scorpio on the seventh house, I mean, on the second house, I'm sorry, then um, you can accumulate your wealth uh, through your uh in-laws or an inheritance because taurus is opposite of scorpio east sign has an opposite sign okay so you can't talk about one sign without talking about another because they both have different qualities but they express them differently because they're on the opposite sides of the polarity okay so how taurus deals with um your financial security or your finances or your income the opposite of that is scorpio which deals with other people's money okay so this is why a lot of scorpios they say make good stockbrokers or a good accountants because Scorpios are really good at handling other people's money. And so if you have Scorpio in the second house, you can um you can attract your your wealth through um your in-laws or through a spouse who's passed away or just through another family member. Um they may leave you something. You know what I'm saying? And also if you have Scorpio in the seventh house too, you may be um, you may be secretive about your money, secretive about your income. You might not want to talk about your income and your finances to others, or you might even hide your you might even hide your money from your spouses. Okay, I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen with people in the second house. Um, so yeah, so be mindful of this. So really, the second house is really uh, it's kind of overlooked. It, it really is, but it has a lot to do with um, like I said, the things you just value. You know, the things that you own um, in regards to materialism. So your car, your house, your uh, your clothes, your jewelry, uh, those type of things. Okay, And the second house also teaches you or tells you or asks you, uh, what is it that you value? Okay, so as I have explained throughout this entire video, um, depending on what sign is in your second house, tells you, like I said, 
I know I'm kind of repeating here, but I really have to reiterate this because I get a lot of questions. Um, the sign in your second house determines what you value, how you accumulate income, how do you view yourself in regards to your self-esteem. Okay, those are the three main things. And also how you feel about your personal possessions. How do you feel about money? You know what I'm saying? If you have a maybe Aquarius on the second house, you may not, you may be a little detached from money. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you know, you don't. Or you may accumulate your money by doing humanita humanitarian things, you know, like uh, maybe fighting for feminism or things like PETA or things, uh, humanitarian goals, meaning like things that kind of, uh, I wouldn't say rebel against society and its natural norms, but things that you like to stand up for because that is what Aquarius is about. With that being said, uh, as a fellow Venus and Taurus, like I said, I love this energy. I love Taurus. Um, Taurus makes me feel just, they make me feel nice because a lot of their, their likes are my likes, you know what I'm saying? My, like, I like good food. I like good wine. I like luxury. I, I do like money. You know, I like to be financially secure. I like to, um, you know, I just like to relax, chill. I don't like really to do too much and be, you know, seen everywhere. Well, I, no, that's a lie. I do like to be seen everywhere, but, you know, I like to look good, okay, when I'm seen, okay? So, like I said, those are the kind of the uh, things that Taurus uh, represents. It also represents your your banking and your saying anything dealing with finances, is all Taurus, okay? So during this Taurus season, you know, look at your finances. Make sure things are in order. You might be, depending on where Taurus falls into your, your trances in your chart, I can tell you that, okay? Uh, if you book a reading, but uh, that can tell you how this time is affecting your finances or how you feel about uh, finances at this time. So it really depends on where... Uh, the sun is falling into your chart or your, in your, uh, in regards to your transits. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I was kind of all over the place and I'm really happy to, uh, just continue to make these videos. They really make me feel good. Um, please, I am doing a special on birth chart readings. Okay. Um, I will post more information um, really in the next video. Um, but don't forget to contact me about readings. My, I will place my email and my social media below in the description box. Um, with that being said, I love y'all. Bye.